Hey everybody and welcome. This is Dr. Heather Carden coming to you live from Ask Dr. Heather. If you are brand new to my Facebook page, welcome, welcome. This page, it, my goal is to actually help you find tools and resources to help optimize your health. So when we say ask, act, achieve, that means simply ask a question as an Ask Dr. Heather. Act, I will give you some tools, resources, and tips and hacks to help act on those health health problems or solutions you're looking for so you can achieve your optimal health. Today, I'm just going to barely touch on the topic of obesity. I have not done that ever yet in any of my lives, so I'm just going to bring some real stats to you. So first of all, we need to stop lying to you. We as in the healthcare, we in the media, we at the gyms, we need to stop lying that obesity is about not exercising enough. Our overall weight is actually 80% of what we eat and only really 10 to 20% about exercise. Yes, exercise is important. I'm not saying that, but stop lying to ourselves that we need to get into the gym three to four hours to get the life that we want or the body that we want or the health that we want because that's unrealistic in a 24 hour schedule when you need to sleep seven to nine of those. We also know that physical activity is not the end all to obesity. So what we do know currently, and these are um, 2015 stats, so I'm a little bit old on this, we do know that one out of two Americans are obese. 50% of people are obese. If your percentage of body fat is over 35%, you have a 450% chance of having a cardiovascular event, which 80% of us pass away. We also know that if it's under 33%, you only have a 4.9%. We also know that the number one diagnosed disease amongst children is not chicken pox, it is not mumps, it is not measles. What is it? Diabetes, type one, type two diabetes, number one diagnosed disease amongst children. For the first time ever, they are not supposed to outlive us. What does that mean? If my life expectancy, my generation, our generation is 83, it means that my children is 79, or your children, our children's is less likely. It's because of obesity. All obesity leads to inflammatory diseases. I know oftentimes I pick apart thyroid or adrenals or food allergies, but let's just talk about obesity because what we're doing isn't working. What we're doing is not the most effective practices and tools. What has been the most effective practice, the most effective tool that I do in my office for the last 20 years is actually a low carb, high fat ketogenic diet. If you don't believe me, Google some of those amazing stories out there. Why do I say look for stories, look for books? Because stories create possibilities. My friend Pam just pulled up here and if I say she's almost lost 100 pounds at the age of 50 something, she's back at her high school weight, that story creates possibilities in your mind. What happens with possibilities? We get hope. All of us act on hope. There's something inside of us that a heartstring that says, you know what, if she can or he can do it, I can do it too. So when we get hope, it creates desire, which creates action, which is so amazing. So again, think of stories, maybe a book you read, a YouTube clip you saw, maybe a Snapchat story, maybe a documentary that you saw. Um, and I recently saw um, The Science of Fasting, which I'm super excited to have a big chat about with you. But think of a story that inspires you. Maybe someone you know, someone you don't know, or maybe you actually have have that story that inspires someone which leads to possibility which leads to hope which leads to desire which leads to action and that's what this is all about taking action for your own health care not blaming not shaming but I am gonna say there are a lot of people who need to apologize for putting sugar in our food these are manufacturers and we took out fat which means we took out the flavor so we threw back in sugar and no one has to report the milligram percentages of sugar in your boxed food or your processed food. So what we do know is that there are lots of interpretations of a low carb, high fat diet. So what I am gonna do on tomorrow night at 7 p.m. is I'm gonna help you really understand, make this super simple so you'll be successful, not make this over complicated of how we achieve these goals as we try to get to our optimal state of health. And again, this is this is not about willpower, it's not about hours in the gym, we're gonna make it super simple. And I have a simple rule called the 10-3-10 rule. If you wanna know, you gotta find out later. Well, I'll tell you right now, I'm not gonna wait, make you wait and come back. What we know is that we can do anything for 10 days. Our taste buds turn over every 10 days. So if we can keep the garbage and sugar out for 10 days, our taste buds are gonna turn over, we're gonna less likely to crave things, we're gonna become a efficient fat burning machine, and then we're gonna take a little bit of a break called intermittent fasting, a little bit of reboot, a little bit of keto fast blast, and then repeat the 10 days. So it's 10-3-10, repeat, 10-3-10, repeat. Inch by inch is a cinch, 
day by day is a cinch. If you try to go year by year, it's way too hard. So we've created an amazing simple program for you. But I do want you to know that if you're a person who struggles with obesity, know that you have been lied to, you have been misled, and we're going to help you sort that truth out. So trying to smile through that and apologize about the lies and myths that have been set out there. But think about this for a moment. If we can help you learn how to eat healthier, a lifestyle that saves you money, saves you time in preparation, time in running to the store, and also saves the earth. Saves the earth by less plastic, less styrofoam, less prepackaged food, less leftovers, less throwaways. It's a win-win situation for everybody. So um, please s send me your email down below. I've got a hundred spots for tomorrow night. I know that over 60 of them are taken. So I've got a few spots left for our just basic. It's called a keto low carb basic session. It's about 30 minutes. I'm just going to go through very, very simple hacks to be very successful and start your journey towards optimal health. And from this day forward, you know that it's not about getting four hours of exercise. Um, you know that it's not about snacking more. You know that uh, we're going to give you the tools and tips that you need to help optimize your life. So this is Dr. Heather Carden, um, co-owner of Carden Center for Wellness, saying have an amazing, amazing day. I look forward to hearing from each and every one of you because I expect you to take action today. And please t tune into some stories which we're going to share. I think Pam just walked in the door. Uh, so Pam, say hello. Because I told you, Pam has a story which leads to possibility, which leads to hope, which is desire, which makes people take action. So please jump over to Low Carb KC. We're getting ready to do some videos there. But again, Erin, thanks for giving me your email. You guys can email it to me personally, and I'll drop my email down below, 7 o'clock Central Standard Time on a Zoom. Download the Zoom app to your phone or your computer. It's zoom.us, not .com, and I will give you all the info. Have a beautiful, amazing day.